Hi, this is Turek P and this is Word Origins 256. The word origin today is Banana Republic. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now, let's get right to it. If someone refers to a country as a Banana Republic, one is most often talking about a small country, especially in Central America or in the West Indies, that has a very corrupt dictatorial government. They tend to be dominated by foreign companies and often depend on one or just a few exports, such as bananas. That's why it's called Banana Republic. All right, let's continue. The origin of this term comes directly from the writer O. Henry in 1904 called The Admiral, a short story from his book Cabbages and Kings. In the story, the country was called Anchuria, which was based on um, the country Honduras in which he lived for six months. He was the first to coin the term. Uh, for many years, this term referred to countries exactly described in the definition. However, in our modern times, due to runaway debt and blatant corruption, many countries are starting to be compared to banana republics. All right, let's continue. And we got five examples to show just how it's used. Uh, typical countries often referred to as banana republics are Botswana, Costa Rica, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Nigeria, and Panama, or at least traditionally these were the countries that were usually most likely to be referred to as banana republics. All right, let's continue. Uh, number two here. Typical characteristics of a banana republic are widespread corruption, tyrannical government, um, government power, unstable governments, civil unrest, like people, you know, protesting or wanting to take over the government, widespread poverty, coup attempts, uh, a lot of foreign-owned interest, and economically dependent on a small amount of resources. Okay, the third example here. Uh, if our country doesn't stop increasing debt and printing enormous amounts of money, we will turn into a banana republic. So it's used more and more this way. Countries that weren't, like even Western industrial countries, are starting to be compared to banana republics because of this. Number four, by allowing all of our industries to go overseas, our country is on the path to become a banana republic. Or number five here, if we cannot clean up the corruption in our government, our country will start to be compared to a banana republic. Okay. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.